right? Now, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to do, I don't want to chase a guy away. But what do you really want? Do you want a fuck boy, which is fine if you do, or do you want more from this guy? Then use that shit test. I'm sorry, you're not my type sexually. I think you're really nice though. We can be friends. Friends on a guy, and then see what happens after that. And if he sticks around, then you know that he likes you more than sex. Well, I've got some questions here. First of all, I just want to show the view. I'm here in Sydney, Australia. This is Vaucluse. I'm just going to show this off while I can. Beautiful uh, March day here. Autumn day. Fantastic weather here. Been getting some uh, great uh, tour guides. In touch with me, showing around some really some rad places. Uh, we've got a question here from a female friend of mine. Uh, here we have uh, how to tell if he's a fuckboy. What legit qualities do girls guys have? How to tell a boy girl you're interested in them more than hookups? How do you know if the guy you're in the friend zone and what girls guys want? So in-depth topic, massive. I mean, we could talk for days on that one. I, it'd be actually good if I had someone sitting across from me to uh, bounce these ideas off. I wish my friend was here uh, who wrote these questions to me. Because I understand it, but I, understand, I might say something, but people don't really hear it. You know, that's, that's another thing. People say, oh, you, you, uh, you, how often in life do we say, I said that to you? And they're like, I don't remember that. Because they heard it, but they didn't actually feel it. You, know? you might say something to someone, but they didn't really understand what you meant. And then someone else will say it in a way that they did understand. And they'll be like, oh, thank you so much. You know? and you're like, I'm fucking saying that all the time. But they didn't hear you. They didn't feel what you said. They didn't understand what you said. So if you say something to someone, make sure they understand it. All right? Just because we understand it, just because I say something about fuckboy or a bicycle part or whatever, and I understand it, doesn't mean that other people understand it, even just because I've said it. <laughs> Confused? Easy to be. Quality of our life is the quality of communication. The quality of our life is in direct proportion to the quality of our communication. The better we can communicate, the better quality of our life. This will come a little bit blurry. All right, so how to talk as a fuck boy. This is pretty straightforward. It's a bit harder for women who don't have much experience with guys. The more attractive the female is, the more experience you have with fuck boys because fuck boys will just hit her up. What is the definition of fuck boy? Uh, some people might call me a fuck boy. Some people would say a fuck boy is a guy who just smashes through chicks. He's got chicks on the boil on the doll all the time. He's just got, you know, a harem of women or whatever. And a lot of girls like guys like that. They don't like what they do, but they like those guys who are in need and those guys know how to manage women and, and just seduce, build attraction, uh, trigger emotions, give them, you know, give them a buzz, etc. Uh, so that's something that I know how to do and I've done that and uh, made some big mistakes doing stuff like that. And I've done some videos talking about RSD, uh, Tyler and Owen, those guys do some fantastic stuff, some really positive content. My only critique, my main critique is they need to talk about vasectomies, all right? Getting girls pregnant, having abortions and shit like that. It's just because just you want a bone. Nah, man, that's just unethical as fuck. So we need, RSD needs to be RSDV, Real Social Dynamics Vasectomy Edition, all right? <laughs> vasectomy Tour. Uh, they need to hook up with Dr. Snip for an affiliate links or whatever, some coupons. But so you want to know what a fuckboy is. A fuckboy is someone who knows pickup, you know, PUA, pickup arts, and it is... Mystery calls it the Venusian arts, where you demonstrating high value. You're getting the girl to qualify to you. You're building comfort. You isolate. You close. Boom. If there's any last minute resistance, you do push pull. Whoosh, you're done. Finished. Easy to get girls in the bed. Easy to get girls back to your house, back to their house, in the car. Not a problem. As long as you know how to trigger emotions, it is not hard at all. All right. There's, there's, these guys out there, they're making bank. People are making millions and millions of dollars teaching guys how to get more pussy. And then on the other flip side, we have women. I was talking about this conversation yesterday where we have men will pay big money to learn how to get more pussy and women will pay big money on how to increase the quality of a relationship. How can I get my man to communicate with me more? How can I get more, feel more love for my man? How do I get my man to have more passion and direction in his life? Women will pay big money to attend workshops or books or whatever to get information. Guys, sadly, will go, how do I get more pussy? How do I get more pussy? How do I fuck more hot chicks? Yeah, I want that. And that's just the way men and women are built. Not a good thing or a bad thing, it's just the way it is. It's just like the weather. You know, men are more logical, women are more emotional. Like the weather just changes all the time. Men are on the boats on this on the sea going, oh, my boat's gonna go at 10 knots an hour, the wind's northwesterly, I'll be here in two hours. And then the, the weather's like, no, 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 no. And there's a big storm coming in, big waves, and you you don't fight the weather. You don't fight the ocean, you roll with it, you, you manage it. So Understanding that we, there's people out there who understand that women are triggered, pull, uh, pulled and pushed by their emotions, and so they trigger these emotions to exploit women, 
Marketing does it to exploit consumers. It's just, just I do it as myself. Clickbait, controversy, drama. I, I do it all the time as well, trigger emotions. Uh, in my personal life, though, I don't like to do it because I don't like to be, um, what's the word? Not manipulative because I am manipulative. I like to manipulate people for positive ways, uh, positive intent, positive uh, lifestyle changes, etc. I like people to be having a quality of lifestyle that I enjoy. So I do manipulate people in that aspect. But in terms of being the fuckboy, manipulating a girl so you can get for sex and then just pump and dump fucking chuck or use her as a pre-selection model. What is a pre-selection model? Pre-selection model would be you got a girl who's you know on your social media pages or whatever and then other girls see that and like, oh, boom, boom, boom. I want this guy as well. So, I mean, that's I've been like that as well. You know, when you have a girlfriend who's fit and athletic, then other girls are like, wow, like, you know, like this is an example I can use freely again. Uh, when I broke up with Freely, it was insane. It was fucking hectic, crazy. I did some stupid shit, crazy shit. I had girls just throwing themselves at me, knocking on my hotel room door, coming in, barging in. One girl in there, one girl outside knocking. It was just, it was crazy. Getting hit, hit on social media all the time. Harley, blah, 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 blah. You know, because a lot of girls out there thought, you know, he's, he can help me lose weight or turn me into next Freely. Or, or it, was, it was a crazy time. And it was definitely on the rebound there, breaking up a new relationship. Made some big mistakes. I wish I had a time machine to go back and erase some of those interactions. Some of those actions are very positive and I've, I've made some good friends out of it and some were just, it was just crazy psycho stuff. Um, very negative, very dark energy, some of those people out there. Uh, but anyway, I digress. But hey, you live and you learn and you make mistakes and you learn from it. But how to spot a fuckboy is a guy is just interested in sex. If you're not giving him sex, he won't hang along around very long at all. All right, so that's very, very straightforward. And you guy, you guys, if you, if you are just looking for a hookup, then you just say it from, I'm just, you know, I'm, you know, use my line. I'm just going to have a nine-year relationship, not looking for a serious, you know, I can feel that there's some attraction here. Should we pursue it for one night? And, you know, yes or no. So it's better to be transparent like that versus lead a girl on. She's like, oh, my God, this guy's so amazing. He's taking me in bed. He's doing really good stuff. I've never felt this way before about a guy. And then the next day, you're like, oh, okay. Or the next hour, you're like, okay, I'm, see you later. Go have a shower and you're out of here. And then she's just like, what? She's going to feel used. And if a woman feels used, she's going to get mad pissed, you know, and it's, just, and it's hurt as well. So you don't really hurtful. You don't just pick up artist guys who just like running through chicks and just doing that stuff. It's just unethical, you know, and then not having a vasectomy. And <laughs> it's, just, it's crazy, man. I love to bring the ethics in the RSD or the pickup community. Be transparent and congruent and clear of your intention and have a vasectomy, all right? And so girls out there will be like, oh, how do I know if a guy is being transparent and congruent? Because often... Let's, let's say there's a girl out there and she meets a guy and the guy's, he's doing some, he's doing a demonstrating high value. Maybe he's a boss or he knows some skills or whatever. He's qualifying, he's getting the girl to answer questions and talk to him. And then he's uh, building comfort, maybe with alcohol or drugs or jokes or fun times or whatever. And then he'll isolate away, have a discussion, get deep, do some deep diving communication, isolate again, bounce around to different clubs or places or whatever. And then go home to his house, her house, the car, train, plane, whatever. If there's any LMR, last minute resistance, then just do a bit more push-pull, and then boom, sex is on the table. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. If it's not that night, it's generally seven hours. Seven hours is, if you've got games, seven hours is all, all you really need. All right? It's really all you need, um, in my experience. Seven hours would be the average. So, and that brings us to the girls out there who don't know how to spot these fuckboys. And they just, they just, it's the first time they've met a guy like that, and they're just like, oh my God, this is, I feel alive, I feel buzzed, this guy's really hitting my spot. You know, maybe in sexually as well, he's really good in bed. And she's like, oh my God, this guy's so awesome. But then she's just been fuckboyed. And now she feels hurt or she's in denial or whatever. And, or then she, and then maybe the guy disappears or whatever. Or she fucks him off because she realizes what he was all about all along. And now she's got this experience with guys. She had this awesome experience. It was really good while it was going. And then it's just like, boom, dropped off the deep end. And now she's like, fuck. All right, and then she'll meet some nice guys and she'll be like, yeah, but you don't have the confidence to really give me the buzz I want or the experience of that guy. Then just fuck off, you beat her. You know, so, but these guys are nice guys. It's generally because they're nice because they have no experience, have no confidence. So they use the nice angle like, please, can I get some pussy? Like, I'm a really nice guy. Like, you know, I'll do this for you. And she's just like, eh. You know, then you've got the confident guy who doesn't give a fuck. And she's like, yeah, I'll, I'll you know, push-pull method, bang, bang. So it, it is a... It is crazy out there. So a woman just is just has to learn the hard way by herself, but ideally through her friends. You know, ask your friends what the deal is. You know, if you know a guy and you've got mutual friends, ask ask them what's this guy like. 
You know, do you think he just wants me for sex? What's, what's the deal with him? You know, what's the deal with him? Uh, that's when, you, if you've got mutual friends, that's really good because you can ask their friends or their girlfriends or maybe even their ex-girlfriends. That's pretty cool if you've got access to guys' ex-girlfriends. But then again, they might make up stories or who knows, but... Oh, take advantage of his character. They will take advantage of him to further their own cause, okay? Their own sort of agenda. So you have to remember that as well. He's only human and he's a pretty fucking special human. Hey, any bit of communication information you can get is a good start, is a good start. Whether it be the truth or not, who really knows? So how to spot a fuckboy initially it will just be the guy just he's heavily interested in sex um, and he's you know, pushed the sex agenda quite quickly, quite early on. And some girls are like, yeah, that's fine. I just, I just want to fuck him. I just want to go, like, I just want to have some sex. I just got to have a relationship. I just want to have some fun. I don't, I don't care. I just want to fuck. This guy looks good. He's confident. He's fine. I just want to fuck. And fine. As long as people understand that, uh, then that's no deal with, no, uh, no issues with that. But if the girl is looking for a guy to have a relationship with, has a, you know, a positive friendship, uh, then she really needs to understand how to spot a fuckboy. So that'd be the main one is if your guy's just pushing for sex all the time, He's, he's basically, if, if the guy's experienced, right, and he's pushing for sex, then fuck boy. If the guy's experienced and not pushing for sex, then most likely not fuck boy. But then he could be an advanced level fuck boy, right? Where he's like, okay, this girl's shy. If I push too hard, she'll, she'll run off. So what I'll do is I'll just won't do any sex and let her to come to me. All right? And that's, that's a very lethal, effective way to do it. Um, works with some women only. Some women just go, oh, well, is this guy gay? I'll just go with someone else. So a guy with lethal PUA will be able to read that early on and then run with that and, you know, and use that to his, uh, his advantage and her disadvantage. So women out there just have to arm themselves with information out there. There's three types of guys, my experience. Uh, actually, four types. There's the guy who has no confidence. He's had not much sex. You know, or he's, you know, he's, he's just a beta guy. He's a new guy on the block. He's just like really nice and like he's just beta. He's just doing everything for the girl and the girl's just like, yeah, I can, I can sniff. You don't have any experience at all with women and you're being nice because you want some pussy. That's the only reason you're really being nice to me. Uh, I'll, I'll friend zone you and I'll let you do my favors for me. You have the second guy who's the fuck boy. He's just like, hey, baby, you know, come back to mine, whatever. It's like, what's, what's going on? Dick pics sort of style guy. Maybe a bit of basic PUA. Maybe watch a few RSD videos and he's, he's, he, can, he can get some pussy here and there for some girls who are inexperienced. And then you've got the second level uh, guy who's the lethal PUA guy who understands different personality types and he's just you know, very effective at push-pull, emotional triggers, uh, dissolving LMR, you know, DHVs and uh, IOIs and all that sort of stuff, you know, really effective. And that's the guy that you know, generally does the most damage to women because he really wraps them up and they're really like, oh my God, this is powerful, this is really good fun. And then they, he just drops them off the fucking cliff and they're just like, Poof! They're emotionally distraught. They never trust guys again or they just have this big wall up and then any guys that they're with in the future for relationship material or whatever, they have to like clamber through all the wreckage of the shrapnel and the carnage and bend back the iron and say, and get to the access to this woman's heart and hopefully it's open again. And that's, you know, so that's what I tell guys, man, don't be, don't be cunts to women. You know, women have it hard enough as it is. Let's, uh, let's be transparent, clear of our intentions. If you just want sex, then you have to just say, this is just sex, nothing more. And I've done that many, many times. And women actually respect you more. And some people are like, yeah, man, let's fuck. I've always wanted to fuck you, Duran Ryder. Let's go, daddy. And, um, and that's fun, and it's fine. But then, and then you have women out there, actually, I've never actually been denied that. If I've ever said to it, this is going to sound crazy, but I've said to uh, these, these women out there, this is just sex. I want nothing more. I think you're pretty cool. It's, you know, be friends, whatever. And every time they've said, I've said that to them, then they've said yes, you know? And so that's, that's been a personal philosophy for me, personal uh, philosophy for me, is if you are interested in only that, then express, express that explicitly before anyone, you know, is any intercourse or oral or whatever, just so no one's led along, strung along, because it's, it's, it's just hurtful, especially if you're confident with women and you can give them a good buzz and make them feel really nice, and then you're just gonna dump them, hump and dump, and they're like, well, I didn't think of that. You know, at least if people know what's coming, then they can decide. But women do love that transparency. They definitely do love that transparency. And then so you have your fourth level guy who is a guy like me, doing right. Like, if I can be a narcissist, if I can be like arrogant and uh, gloating, I would say myself been through that pickup scene expensively, long-term relationships, short-term relationships, crazy wild times, got to the age where I'm at now where I appreciate a quality relationship. 
I appreciate the quality relationship. For me, the highest priority in a relationship for me is personality. How does that woman make me feel when I'm around her? So I always have like that feminine side. I'm like women, that women like, how does this guy make me feel? Do I feel comfortable around him? Do I feel safe around him? Does he make me laugh? Does he have good times? Is he giving me direction in my life? Is he giving me unconditional support? Things like that. So I'm like a woman in that aspect where I enjoy those things now as well. Back in the day, I was just like, is this chick hot? That's all I give a fuck about. You know? I was like, I, she'd talk and be like, I don't even fucking listen to what I'm just thinking about taking you home tonight and, and getting it on. And that was just a very shallow existence uh, back in the day. But having relationships, quality relationships, I'm, I've learned that a quality relationship for me is irreplaceable. It's irreplaceable where you're having a good connection, good fun times, you've got teamwork going on. Uh, you're having great sex when you have this great sex, but it's not based on sex like a hookup really is. Um, and that's, 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 that's definitely addictive for me. I really enjoy that aspect of just you know, helping uh, women get to a new level. And I think every guy should have a personal philosophy of a woman should always be better off emotionally, physically, financially, and sexually after she's met you. you know, a year later, she should be boom, 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 all those four stages, emotionally, physically, lifestyle, health, financially, five, six. There are many different time uh, benefits there. Everything should be boom, 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 boom. That's when you're doing your job as a man. If you're dropping, if her fitness is dropping, if her health is dropping, if her finances are dropping, if everything's falling apart in her life, then you're a fuck boy. You're fucking shit up. But if things are going up, then that's supportive. That's you've been a real man, supporting your woman uh, and women in our lives. There might be a sister or a mums or any, any woman in your life. You want, we want to lift them up, guys, because women have a lot less testosterone than us. They have a lot more pressure in society than we do. You know, so we need to give those people support, women support. Um, and people might say, oh, yeah, MGTOW, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, nah, just, just fucking be good, do good, and get shit done and inspire people around you and give support to the women in your lives. You know? It could be your neighbors, your work colleagues, whatever. Make your life a little bit better. And people are like, oh, I did that to a woman one time and she burned me. Well, there's many reasons why women will burn a guy. And that's a whole fucking other video. This, today's video is how to tell if he's a fuckboy. It's four, four types of guys. The beta guy who's just like, give me some sex, I'll be nice to you. I haven't had much sex, I'm, I haven't had hardly any sex, I'll be nice to you. Uh, he's a guy who generally develops one artist. And then you've got the second guy who's generally a beater, gets burnt, and he starts getting a pick up. He's like, I'm just going to smash through as many chicks as possible, I'm going to fuck them, blah, 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 blah. And that's the standard pick up guy who get the girl drunk, um, do the DMVs, the, all that stuff. Uh, DHVs, rather. <laughs> IOIs, etc. And then you've got the third guy who's got, he's like next level pick up guy, really smooth, getting it done. And then you've got your fourth guy who really develops that a desire for a quality, lasting relationship where there's like equal teamwork, things like that. And I would say that's where I'm at now in my life, having gone through all those stages of uh, manhood, etc. So how does what a fuck boy, bottom line, deny him sex and see how long he still stays around for. All right? Deny him sex and, and just say, I'm not interested in you sexually at all. You know? And then, there you go, that's a perfect fucking shit test. Well, I'm not interested in you sexually. You're not my type. All right? And then you'll know if he's really a fuckboy. There you go. I said it. I should mention that at the start of the video. 17 minutes 30 in. I had to tell the guys a fuckboy. Say, I, I think you're really cool, but you're not my type sexually. All right? And a lot of them are like, I don't want to chase a guy away. But what do you really want? Do you want a fuckboy, which is fine if you do, or do you want more from this guy? Then use that shit test. I'm sorry. You're not my type sexually. I think you're really nice, though. We can be friends. Friends on a guy. And then see what happens after that. If he sticks around, then you know that he likes you more than sex.